you had a very simple question, uh, and that was, what can we do to better understand whether or not these chemicals, these chemical fire retardants, are adding to fire safety benefit? And if they are, can we talk about that and how they are? And if they're not, can we talk about why they're not? And I thought, well, this one sounds straightforward. And of course, it's much more complex than I ever imagined. I, I at the time, questioned whether or not candle flame ignition was a real risk factor for televisions. Because of course, in 2002, TVs were already starting to get thinner. And so the initial risk of putting a candle on top of a TV set, well, that was sort of disappearing. And the idea of putting a candle under a TV set was, well, basically arson. You know, you're not gonna do that. Uh, so this is an area that my colleagues uh, don't like. My colleagues in the fire science community don't like. Um, I think they find it to be a tainting effect, have a tainting effect on the pure science of things. And my answer is always that um, if we as scientists, or if some scientists don't, get involved in the policy making process, then the policy making process will move forward without scientists. Um, special interests come in with a great deal of money, and that money can sometimes influence uh, science to be somewhat results oriented. And so I think it's very important to have good, honest science, scientists working in policy. It is by far and away the most satisfying and I think the most long-term impactful thing that I do with my education. And so I'm very thankful to have been brought into this by someone who has the, the drive that Arlene has because very few people have that. And I would say to anyone, and I often do, but get involved, um, get involved in Green Science Policy Institute. Um, and I, you know, I guess if you don't wanna get involved, never let Arlene talk you into going on a hike. <laughs>